god, this is the first time I'm sitting down here and my sister is just staring at me and she's giving me the look and I'm so shy. It's so hard for me to film right now, it's because my sister is sitting right in front of me and she's whispering and she's making fun of me. Hey guys, I tell you what, today I'm just gonna skip my entire intro doing the same intro every single time and anyways, Today's video is all about this beautiful look that I have going on today. It's an easy, sexy night out. and So if you want to recreate this look, you guys can actually recreate this look with any colors that you guys want to create it with. So I created a silver and a black sexy smoky eye. Then at first I went in with a red color pop lipstick which is called Creeper and then I didn't like the way how it turned out because it was too striking. And then I just paired it with... Um, a Makeup Revolution Verbel and Australia's Velvet Lip Cream in Milano. So yeah, that is what I have on my lips right now. So if you do like this video, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that button down below just right there. And just subscribe and stay tuned to my channel. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Medium Moyan and I'm just concealing my eyelids and then I am going to blend it out and set it with my L'Oreal Mercier Setting Powder. Then I'll be going in with Sephora Matte Metallic Eyeshadow Palette and picking up the beautiful peach shade and just working it all around my crease area so that when I go in with my next shade, it actually blends out really beautifully. The next shade I'm picking up is the chocolate brown shade in that same palette with the same brush, uh, Morphe M433 and just blending it all over the crease area. Then I'm picking up the black shade with my Morphe M321 brush. As you can see, I'm working at the outer corner of my eyes, creating a V and dragging it to the center of my lid. And then I'll go in with my Morphe M433 brush and just blend it out. And then I'll go in and pack on some more black. You can just keep repeating the process to the amount of depth and darkness that you want at the outer corner of your eyes. Then I'll be going in with Morphe M441. It's actually a clean uh, blending brush and just blending everything out so it doesn't have any harsh lines. And then the next shade that I'm picking up is from the Wonderful Dreams palette from Sephora and it's called Chanity Lace. It's a really, really beautiful shade. Now I'm applying it with my Morphe M167 brush. I am just applying it all over the lid. I'm not being too precise about it. Then I'm using this glitter eyeliner from BH Cosmetics and this shade is called Synergy. If you want, you can actually skip the step and just go straight to your eyeliner but I just wanted more of a jazz and more glitter. So I just applied that all over to my lid area and it just gave it a dramatic pop to the look. Then I'll be going in with my e.l.f. cream eyeliner and my eyeliner brush and just doing my eyeliner. Just gonna skip through this process. Then we are done and I'm just removing the tape at the corner of my eyes and cleaning off any excess that I have underneath my eyes. Then I'll be going in with this Sephora shade which is called Movie Popcorn and just highlighting the inner corner of my eyes. And then we are on to lashes. So I'm using my all-time favourite lashes. It's from Adele. It's 120 Demi Black. Now I'm going in with It's So Big Mascara from Elizabeth Mode and I'm just applying a thin layer of mascara. And then I'm going in and picking up that soft shade called Soft cookie from the wonderful dreams palette and just highlighting my brow bone then we are on to the face i'm using the sephora revitalizing booster and just applying that all over my face i just love the serum so much then i'll be going in with the sephora pore and fine filler and just massage that into your skin so today i'm actually gonna go pretty heavy so i'm gonna go in with my orange concealer and my derma coil makeup Cover. I am just going to um, correct underneath my eyes with my orange concealer, blend that out and then pack the Dermacol makeup cover on top of it and then just blend it out. So today's foundation, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade 8.0 and using my flat synthetic foundation brush and applying this all over my face. But trust me guys, I only use two and a half foundation pumps and it just spread it really beautifully all over my face. I'm just going to use my Caudalie Beauty Elixir and spraying it onto my beauty blender and just blending everything out and beauty blenders main purpose is to pick up any excess product that is on your face so it just blended it out really beautifully and took out any excess foundation that is was on my face the overall result of this technique is just beautiful 
Then going in with my all-time favorite concealer, which is the ELF HD Concealer in medium. And I'm just applying it underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin, my upper lip, and my forehead area. And just blending it out. And then I'll just go ahead and set my entire face with my L'Oreal Mercier powder. And just to finish off the under eye area, I'm picking up the shade Maroon Glaze from the Wonderful Dreams palette. And, and smoking my lower lash line, but as you can see, I'm not smoking it all the way i'm only doing it halfway and this just gives you a very very beautiful sexy look and same thing for my eyeliner i do not put my eyeliner all the way it's just halfway and seeing this footage right now is just making me a bit ooh because my face looks funny on to contouring and i'm using the several micro smooth in the shade fawn steep and as you can see i'm just carving out my cheekbones and whatever leftover product that i have in my brush i just use it to blend everything out and it's just beautiful i just love this I think this is going to be my next favorite contour shade. And then for blush, I'll be going in with Essence in the shade Peach and just applying it to my cheekbones. For highlight, I'm using Becca Champagne Pop from Jaclyn Hill and I'm just do, applying the highlight on my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, my upper lip and just jazzing my entire face up with this highlight. And then I'm setting my face with the First Aid Beauty Setting Spray and then I will go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and do my lower lash line. Then for my lipstick, I decided to go in with Colourpop in the shade Creep. But I actually changed up my lip option because I found it that it was too dramatic on my lips.